Well, guys, uh, welcome back. This is your boy, Gadam Slink. How are you not doing? Now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are very much doing okay. Well, today is Saturday, so, and uh, it's the Easter period. Well, forgive the way I'm dressing, you know, you know I'm home, and it's Saturday, and it's, you know, I have to feel at home. Of course, you know exactly what I mean. Well, that video I just played there, you know, don't laugh about that video. Don't laugh at it, although you will just laugh, smile about it. But I think there is a huge lesson for us to learn from that video. It shows a grandma and a granddad. I don't know if they are actually grandma and granddad. If they have kids. The grandmom was asking the granddad, who is her husband, obviously, that she's hungry. She needs money to chop. She's hungry. Give me money. Fumi Lobo, give me money to chop. She's hungry. And the man doesn't have any money to give. Obviously, that man wouldn't even have any money to give because he's old now. He's a retiree. And if he if he wasn't working for the government before, then I don't know how he's going to be going getting money from, except from his own kids. So what happened? You know, I will actually want to know the real story. Let me know if that woman have kids for him. Or that woman is just a second wife. But if they could stay with each other and grow so old with each other, then how come they are still behaving like this? If they could stay with each other and grow so old with each other, how come they are behaving like that? You know, so many questions, guys. So many questions that I have to ask them. To, like to hug them like how come you guys are still behaving like this to each other what happened now because of Bonnie actually it be like say that man has been really really stingy all his life then how come the woman was able to tolerate that stingy man until they grow old what do you want that man to give you and how will that woman now sustain don't don't they have kids the kids should be able to provide for them now yes in Africa we might see that, okay, because normally, normally, it is not good to put burden on your kids. You are supposed to work for your own money and they work the things that you are going to eat. But obviously, the economy is not great. And we understand the system already. So, for instance, all those kind of, uh, this kind of whole people now, who is it supposed to take care of them? Just for instance, we have kids who do not like their parents to ask anything from them. If they are this old, who is supposed to not take care of the kids? Yeah, who is not supposed to not take care of their parents? See, let's forget this 21st century and their ideology. We are supposed to take care of our parents if they get old. Forget this 21st century ideology. We are supposed to take care of our parents if they get old. We are supposed, it's our responsibility to take care of them. Forget those kind of uh, inspirational speech and everything that says mother is not supposed to, parents are not supposed to depend on their kids. The reason why, it's not the ultimate reason, no, not the ultimate reason, no. the reason why that I will give birth to kids and put all my power, all my strength in training them is because I want there to be something good in life. Because I want there to be something good in life so that they can also assist me. There are parents who want to go on a holiday. 
they want to buy that fancy car for themselves or they want to put money in investment but because of their kids school fees because their kids are, are because their children are sick or something they need to pay something they won't invest that money anymore they will use it to train that child to school so tell me after that that mother that dad has spent all his life money on you you expect that that uh, that parent not to depend on you when he's old. Come on, man. Let's be let's be let's be honest with ourselves. Because as an investment, kids are investment, whether you like it or not. As an investment, you would like to get a return now. Yeah, you would like to get a return on your own investment. You would like to get return. Well, let's uh, move past that. Let's talk about uh, Mobas father. You know, we talk about Mobas wife the other day. Mobas matter, he get us just a twist. We know they know who they right, who is right. We don't know is wrong. Sometimes now Wumbi was crying the other day. We were we are we were blaming Wumbi to go and do DNA test, do DNA test. Now just check out what the father said. If um I got to meet Mobat dad. Yeah, I got to meet Mobat dad so nice. yeah, Lagos life. Nice. Sir, sir, it's a privilege, sir, meeting you, sir. Went through comments on the comment section, and I found a comment. Um, someone was asking that is that not mobile clothes his dad is putting on. So I had to, I had to come through to meet his dad to ask him the same question again. So let's see what that the mobile have to say to us. That question is not what I can be answering because my focus now is the justice for my son. But let me just answer that in a brief way. Uh, it's my son. I can wear his clothes because we're in the same size. And anybody that have that kind of a son and he cannot share with, that means doesn't, that person doesn't love his son. <laughs> so we are together. I could remember the day when they wanted to go and do the introduction that leaked to engagement. He bought me a shoe and he said, Daddy, this is what you are going to wear. I said, this shoe is bigger than mine and I don't want it kind of a bogus. So I said, this is exactly what I wanted to do. So he wanted to blend me, and it's my son. I say friend to me. So my focus now is the justice for Mobad. So all those rubbish questions, I don't want to answer any kind of a question like that. So it's my son. I wear his clothes. So whoever yeah. wants to say anything, they should say whatever they like. So <laughs> bad father inherited Mobad's clothes. <laughs> oh God, I beg you. This Mobad family, that is crazy family. Poverty is a disease. Poverty is a disease. I will never understand. Even if you are wearing it, but not just so boastful and doing it. Ah, poverty is a disease. The Mobad father is the one that inherited Mobad's clothes, Mobad shoes. Maybe he went to the house to pack all the clothes and shoes to his house. Ah, God, I beg, God, I beg, God, I beg, God, I beg. Oh. A son is supposed to inherit father property. Not father inheriting son's property. It's a taboo. So if it's a taboo that you wanted to bury Mubad as soon as possible, so you don't know it's a taboo also that a father is not supposed to inherit a, a, son's, a son's property. See, now won't be as easy for all those issues. So if won't be can just do a DNA test then, eh, and that DNA test comes out to be absolute true that Mobad is indeed the father of that eh, boy, eh, well lie it lie. Eh. See, all my support, eh, I don't care what won't be did, all my support will entirely be for won't be sons. Mobad son will lie. Honestly. The person made they drag this old matter, Naomi. Just do the DNA. Do the DNA. Forget this title from lawyers. Law lawyers complicate a lot of issues for people. Just do the DNA on your own. Reveal the result and see how the world will support you. Because obviously, she's also calling on Nigerians to help her. Yeah. Part of her plea, part of her cry is calling on Nigerians to please come to her aid. But Nigerians cannot come to your aid if you have not done the needful. 
Nigerians can't come to your head if you have not done the needful. Just do the needful, do the DNA test, and see how Nigerians will rally around you. Come on, man. Come on. Do the needful and see how Nigerians will rally ar around you. We don't even know who to blame and who not to blame. <laughs> it's crazy, though. We don't even know who to blame and who not to blame. Papa, they inherit Peking property. That is a taboo. That is a taboo. Huge taboo. Papa, they inherit Peking property. We have, I've never seen it before. Sometimes if a son died, the father will call his brothers. to call His Mobad brother that is supposed to inherit Mobad uh, clothes. If the son is not old enough. Not father. I know you saw here where I and so. No. His Mobad brother is the right person that was supposed to have supposed to inherit Mobad's clothes. Because the son is not grown enough. In fact, in some cases, they will keep all those clothes in their house until that boy is old enough to wear not the father it's a taboo for the father to be wearing those clothes check this out guys wait i don't understand if your life is in danger because of dna why don't you go and get the dna done so that you can be free is there something you are not talking about baby girl eh, baby go to ever care go to me cure go and run the dna test post it on, on social media so that nigerians can just leave you alone so that the families can leave you alone all this emotional blackmail on social media is already irritating i am not put my mouth for this matter all this while but seeing her video where she was crying and saying oh, blah, 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 this morning is irritating i'm already fed up how much she wants to pay for it won't pass five hundred thousand if it is two hundred thousand or five hundred thousand you cannot afford it Come on social media and tell us that you cannot afford it. We will contribute. Me personally, I've got give you 200k. May you go do the DNA. To those of you going around comment sections, typing things like, oh, it's a sensitive topic. Oh, you will also experience the same thing. It is she a real baby. God forbid if I ever find myself in that kind of situation, how much is DNA? Me, I go do it. I go even make money from that DNA palaver. There's no need to be crying. My husband can wake up today and ask me for, for DNA. Everyone will not come down. Get, you people should just go and get a life. Thank you. Everyone will not come down. Get, you people should just go and get a life. Thank you. Well, absolutely, I agree with that girl, honestly. I agree with that girl. She can't come or like or they cry. <laughs> ah, I agree with that girl. Go and do the DNA test. Eh? If you even want to make money from the DNA test, even cash cruise the DNA test. Okay, I'm ready to do DNA test too. If anybody is willing to pay for it. And my DNA test, according to where I want to do is 5 million naira. Tall. Then, if the people are not ready, people are even willing to even pay the money for the for that child DNA test. What is so bad? You are calling on Nigerians to help you. You are calling on Nigeria to protect you and your child. It, see, one of the crazy lessons, eh, someone asked, what is the lesson that I will have learned from Obad? Eh? dismissed. One of the crazy lessons I learned from Mobad is not to be stupid. Sorry to say, oh, it's not to be stupid as Mobad. Marry a, a wife that is stupid and have a father that is stupid and have a parents, uh, 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 friends that are stupid and also have a brother that is stupid. Because if you check the whole family, it's, ob it's about stupidity. None of them is responsible. Having a parents who are not responsible is okay. It's not by, it's not your fault. But you now growing up to be stupid and getting a wife, oh come on, man, that one are your own doing. It is, man, Mobade, oh, may so continue to rest in paradise. Someone, you, you guys need to just learn lesson from this whole thing. I call you, learn lesson from it, guys. And meanwhile, guys, to check out this picture of this woman that was mercilessly beaten by her husband. In fact, eh, I'm looking for this contact of this woman. She posted the picture the other day to show the aftermath of what happened to her after her husband destabilizedly beat the hell out of her. Kai. Kai. Man, I beg you. Have pity on your wives. Come on, man. Get pity on your wives, eh? Get pity. Yeah, Abba. Sometimes pity them most of the time. No people sometimes, most of the time, pity them. <laughs>